Hello, dear students, and welcome back to mathematics class for class 5. Today, we'll be dealing with chapter 8, that is decimal fractions. This is a new chapter, and before we go into the exercise, as usual, we'll start with the concepts. So, in the past, uh, last few classes, in the, you know, a uh, few lessons back, we have already learned about place values. Now, place values for normal numbers is what we have read. So, place values usually start from the left, ones, tens, hundreds, and it goes on, thousand, ten thousand. So, for example, you can write here, one, two, three, three hundred, twenty-one. We know this, we have already read this. Now, today, we are going to learn about place values for decimal fractions, that is, for decimal numbers, okay? So these type of numbers are those numbers which have a decimal point, all right? Decimal point. For example, I have a number 3.2. Now this point is called your decimal point, okay? The dot. So for place values of normal numbers, we usually ignore this. So we don't have this, we have only three. So this we will say is in one's place. But today we're going to learn about the places on the right. We will learn how to count the places for numbers, digits on the right, okay? So to begin with, let's first uh, <clears throat> understand this. We have, let's draw a table. So this is the table that we have with us. Now let's say that this is one's place one's place so in no, what we have uh, learned earlier we go from the right to left so ones tens and then hundreds thousands and it goes on ten thousands now ones tens hundred thousands ten thousands will be denoted as one tens hundred thousand and ten thousand four zeros so this is what we have learned so far today we will learn about numbers on the right okay we will count from left to right so here we have after once we have decimal point okay it is called decimal point decimal point and this is represented a dot all right so this is the dot and after this the place value for the next is again it will go to t -E and t h s oh sorry I... it will be here t e n t H S that is tenths okay tenths and this tenths is represented by one by ten all right after decimal point it's once this side on the left side it is one tenths on the right side after decimal point we have tenths so after tenths we have hundreds so it'll be d r e d and then put t h s hundreds Similarly, thousands, THS, and then ten thousands. So this will look like hundreds means one by hundred, thousands means one by one thousand, ten thousand means one by ten thousand. So this is the normal this is the normal place value this is the new place value that we are learning so today we'll be discussing about this side not this side usually we count from right to left right but today we will count from left to right we will count in this manner okay children so to understand all this let's look at some examples before we go there we saw that tens is one by that is tenths. So one by ten can also be 
written as 0 0.1. Now you may be wondering how this 1 by 10 is written as 0 0.1. All right, so let's start over. I'll rub the number again. Now, since there is a 1 in the numerator, I'll write the 1 here, okay? And 0, 1, 0. Count the number of zeros. We have 1, 0, okay? Only 1. So, we will move the decimal point 1 place, 1 digit, and then we'll put the decimal point, all right? We will count 1 digit, and then move to the left, and put a decimal point. Now, if you look at the next you will be able to understand even better. So hundreds is written one by hundred. Now one is already there, so I'm writing one here. Now there are two zeros and only one digit, right? So I will start counting from the right. One, two, and point, right? Two places because there are two zeros, okay? And now here there's no number. So by default, okay? you have to put a zero, all right? If there's no number here, you have to put a zero, all right? If the number was 31, all right? If the number was 31, I'll write 31 first. And then since there are two zeros, I will count from the right. One, ten, uh, one place, two place, see? One, two, two places. So one, two, and point, dot, all right? So this is how you put the decimal uh, numbers for, for tens, hundreds, thousands. If it is thousand, it'll be three. So one, two, three places, and then decimal point, all right? So this is about uh, the tens, hundreds, thousands, ten thousands. Now, <coughs> the numbers, those numbers with num uh, point, this point, they are called as decimal numbers, okay? And, uh, <coughs> There will be instances where you will see numbers like this, 0 0.001. So as discussed, by just by looking at the number, we can easily write there's one, no other number here. I mean, others are all zeros. The only number is one by. If you want to change it to fraction, one, you write first, and then after the point, you count how many num digits are there. One, two, three. So you will automatically put one, two, three zeros and a one. So 0 0.001 is expressed as one by 1000. Okay, let us look at some numbers. Let's say that I have 32.86. Let's say I have this number. Now, <coughs> this numbers, these two numbers that is on the left of the decimal point, they are called integral part. And the numbers on the right of the decimal point, they are called decimal part. All right, children. So the numbers on your left, that is 32, they are called as integral part. The numbers after the point on the right, they are called as decimal point, okay? So this is about, uh, these are the two parts that we, we, we will be referring to. And mostly we will be paying attention to the numbers on the right. So let's look at the next topic. Tens, as we have already discussed, is a decimal fraction. We will call these this type of numbers as decimal fraction. So these are the decimal fractions with 10 as denominator, okay? This example. For instance, I wrote 1 by 10. And let me draw a circle. 1, 4. Let's count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So we're missing one more. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So we have 10 parts here. So tenths. Tenths is denoted as 1 by 10. So this 1 by 10 will be denoted as 1 part because numerator is 1 and the total parts is 10. So we have already learned about this, so I will not be going into detail. 
So we can denote 1 by 10 as this part, okay? If you want to denote, for example, a number comes like this, 3 by 10. So this will be denoted as 3 parts. And this 3 by 10 can also be written in the decimal form. That is, I will first write the number 3 and count the number of zeros. I have only one zero, so 1 and then move to the left and point. Because there's only one zero here. And before the point, if you want, you can always put this zero. So 3 by 10 is same as 0.3, all right? So this is about tenths. So we'll be mostly dealing with tenths only. Let's look at the next topic. The next topic is converting decimals to fractions, okay? Converting decimals to fractions. Let's take the same example. I have the decimal this as this, 0 0.3, a decimal number. I want to change this to fraction. So what we did earlier, just the opposite. I will write 3 first. Now, since I need to write it in fraction, I have to write a numerator and denominator, right? So this 3 will always be the numerator. And after that, after the decimal point, how many digits can you see here? You see only one digit. So you will put a 0 here and 1. So this is how you will convert decimal numbers to fractions, okay? Let's take another example. Let's say 0 0.73. Now, this 73, forget about the decimal point for now. This 73, I will write here and divide by, let's count the number of digits after the point. 1, 2. So I will put two zeros and one. This one will always come, okay? So this 0 0.73 is equal to 73 by 100. All right, so this is how you... Uh, convert decimals to fractions. Again, let's look at one more example. So the first step is write the number without the point, divide by, count the number of digits, one, two, three. So three zeros and one. All right, children. So this is how you convert decimals to fractions. The next topic will be converting fractions to decimals. So we have already seen this. Let's do a quick recap. For example, I have a fraction 23 by 100. Now, same step. The first step is same. 23, you write here. Now, it is fraction to decimal. So we don't have to write numerator and denominator, okay? So, now, after this, to put the to place the decimal point, count the digits, uh, number of zeros, sorry. One, two. There are two zeros. Now, to put the point, always start from the right. One, two. So, right after two, we are going to put the decimal point. And since oh, there are only two digits and the number is only 23, so there is no number here, we will put a zero, okay? This zero will come automatically, all right? Whether you put it or not, it will always be 0 0.23, uh, 0 0.23, okay? Let's look at <coughs> another topic. Now, this is a fraction to decimal by division method, by dividing, okay? So, if a number is given like this, now we don't have tens or hundreds here. We have 17 by 4. So in place of tens and hundreds and thousands, 4 is given. So to find, to change this fraction to decimal, we can do in this manner also, division, using division, right? So 4 will be the divisor, 17 will be the divisor, uh, dividend. 4 into 4 is 16. 
So when you subtract 2, you get 7 minus 6 is 1. 1 minus 1 is 0. So after this, we are not able to divide anymore because this is 1 and this is 4, less than 4. So what we will do is we will put a decimal point here. When we put a decimal point here, automatically 1, 0 will come down. Okay? So now, if you compare this, you can divide 4 into 2 is 8. When you subtract, you get 2. Now, again, this 2 is not possible, so I will put another 0, automatic, okay? And, all right? So now, after dividing, I'm getting 4.25. So this is usually read like this, 4.25, all right? So this number on the left, 4, is your integral part. These two num digits on the right of the decimal point are called uh, decimal part. All right, children? Uh, that is all about uh, decimal fractions, conversion of decimal fractions to decimal numbers and decimal numbers to decimal fractions and using division method. Okay, so with this, we will come to the end of the class for today. Uh, we will start with the exercises in the next class. So I hope to see you very soon again. Please take care and stay safe. Bye-bye.